And now it's time for the video section of my newsletter, which I hope you'll find more entertaining than just reading. So I wanted to give you a quick update about the Carmel Police Station, the addition to the existing building. As you may remember, we had 25,000 square feet in our uh, Carmel Police Station that was built almost 30 years ago. The new addition is going to be add another 50,000 square feet. Everybody has been inside the building while it's been under construction, it's been uh, occupied. So kudos to the employees who have put up with all that. So the um, existing is scheduled to be complete in July, maybe early August, depending on weather, and the addition should be done by this November, early November. So we're all getting very excited about all of the advantages that this new police station will bring to our police force and all the employees who work there. Just a couple little tidbits. All the limestone that you're seeing out there has been sourced from uh, uh, local Indiana quarries. That's kind of fun. The masonry work, a lot of people were asking me, why is the building gonna be black? Well, that was just the prep for the masonry. Uh, they've been working on it for about eight weeks now. And guess what? We still got six more weeks to go. It's very intricate. Really hope you'll take a look and admire uh, the quality of workmanship that's been put into that. Chief, um, Deputy Chief Brady Myers is uh, the, uh, he's Chief of Administration. He's been in charge of the project. And when I spoke to him about this quick update, he was really complimentary of all the employees, how they put up with noise and dust and um, moving, you know, living out of boxes during this construction period. So all of us, all of the taxpayers, we should be very thankful to our very dedicated employees who are doing what it takes to get this project completed. Other thing I wanted to just draw your attention to, obviously, Carmel Fest is just around the corner, July 3rd and 4th. New location for the fireworks, in case you haven't heard, uh, we're doing one show on July 4th at 9.45 p.m. We'll shoot, we'll launch from the Carmel Ice Stadium right there at Carmel Drive and 3rd Avenue. Gives me a lot more room to work. It's a little bit more industrial right there, so I, I'm using some larger shells. Do want to remind you that if you are anywhere near an FM radio during the show, it's going to be 30 minutes long. Everything, the entire show is synchronized to music. And I don't mean just a soundtrack. If it's a red shell, that will match with the word red in any of our music, hearts, smiles, all that kind of stuff. So check it out. 91.3, our beloved WHJE FM, uh, Carmel High School, home of the Greyhounds but you cannot stream it on your cell phone. If you stream it out there, it's gonna be delayed and it won't be truly synchronized. How do we pay for all this? One of the ways is a 29 year tradition, Carmel Fest spark buttons. I'm wearing one right now. They're just $10. Inside each packet is a coupon card that allows you to get discounts and freebies and coupons from local merchants. There's a really cool Carmel Fest mug at All Things Carmel, absolutely free. We're at Farmer's Market on Saturday. We're at Wednesday Gazebo Concerts. We'll be selling during the parade or pre-parade um, out there on the parade route, and then I'll be running around selling them at Carmel Fest. Just $10, it's the way we uh, get those fireworks up in the air. Don't forget pre-parade, uh, pre we're gonna try and set a world record. Carmel Fire Department is gonna try and set a world record wearing a red fire hat. So they'll be passed out. Uh, with the, so the red fire hats will be passed out somewhere around that 10 o'clock point. You step out into the road on command. We're going to have drones overhead who will take pictures. And hopefully, if we have 30,000 people, we have 30,000 hats, so if 30,000 people are wearing those hats, you will be part of a world record event in Carmel, Indiana, of the most people in one location wearing red fire hats. So uh, I hope you enjoy this newsletter. This is the video portion. Keep reading. There's more stuff inside my newsletter. My name is Jeff Worrell. Please let me know how I can serve you better.